watching online and those that are in the sanctuary, we say good morning to you. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We say happy birthday, appreciation month to our pastor, Pastor Derek E. McGee Sr. Jeremiah 3 and 15 says, and I will give you shepherds according to my heart who will keep you with knowledge and understanding. Thank you for being that shepherd, Pastor Dean. Thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you started us on our way. We are thankful and grateful that it could have been us on our outdoors with no food and no clothes. But you did see fit to let none of those things be, oh God. And we say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. For the small things and the big things, we say thank you. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for 
waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, oh God. God, we realize it was nobody but you. It wasn't an alarm clock, oh God. It was you that woke us up this morning. It was you that started us on our way. It was you, oh God, that reminds us there is no purpose for us to fulfill in the earth, oh God. God, I thank you, oh God, for getting us through the month of October, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for keeping us, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for keeping us for 10 months, oh God. Even in the midst of a pandemic, God, you still been good. Even in the midst of a pandemic, God, you still been a provider. Even in the midst of a pandemic, God, you still been a healer, oh God. Even in the midst of a pandemic, you have been a comforter, oh God. God, you are consistent and you are faithful, oh God. And for that, we are forever thankful and grateful, oh God. God, we ask that you would have your way in the place, oh God. Move by your spirit, oh God, and move by your power, and move by your mind, oh God. God, we surrender this service unto you, oh God. God, we're asking you to have your way, not only in the sanctuary, oh God, but in the homes of those watching, oh God. Move in their households like never before, oh God. Anoint the praise team, oh God. And the musicians, oh God, let them see the same more audience of one, oh God.
call upon him whom they do not believe. How then they believe upon him whom they have not heard? How can he hear without a preacher? How can he preach unless he first be sent? But as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. Then that bring glad tidings of good things in the house of the Lord our God. Father, thank you for this blessed privilege to be able to stand here once again as an entrusted herald of your message. To rightly divide the word of truth. Thank you, Father, for seeing in me something worth using for your glory. Thank you that Jesus went yes, Lord. to Calvary yes, Lord. to save the rich like me and so many others and also display of love. Thank you, Father, that the table that we serve is not in the grave. On the third day he rolled with all power in heaven and on earth. As so I stand today, oh God, I stand in that power that you have infused me with. The power given to the Holy Spirit. Now, Father, bless these your beloved people and be able to receive from your word. To know it every year to year. Every heart to receive. And every spirit to obey what thus saith the Lord. And now, Father, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, let them, Lord God, be acceptable in your sight. For you are strength and you are redeemer. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And amen. Amen. Great be unto our God who is awesome. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. We are grateful to God for another Sunday to be able to gather together in His presence for you, His beloved children. Wherever you are, if you're watching virtually, if you will stand with us for the reading of the Holy Word of God, we're in Ephesians chapter number 4, beginning at verse number 1. We're going to the first six verses of Scripture, and you may have your seats. Ephesians chapter number 4, beginning at verse number 1. And even you who are watching virtually, you're still tasked with standing for the reading of the Word of God. Amen. It is holy even when you're home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter number 4, beginning at verse number 1, New Living Translation reads, Therefore I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other. Make an allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and in one spirit. So you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father who is over all and in all and living through all. Once again, verse number four, for there is one body and one spirit. Is that you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father who is over all and in all and living through all. This morning for the time allotted to me, I want to preach from the topic of unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Once again, unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Third time, unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Chapter 4, beloved, the book of Ephesians, Paul began the second half of his letter. The first three chapters, Paul is dealing with the spiritual privileges that we enjoy as followers of Jesus Christ. How we be a great Christian, how we are benefactors of great spiritual privileges. In the last three chapters, verses chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, Paul draws out the practical implications and the responsibilities that follow from the truths of the gospel. Paul now shows to us in chapter 4 through 6 how responsible we must be with the spiritual privileges that we have as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, who is the writer of not just this epistle while he's in a Roman jail, but also he writes the epistle to the Col to, to Colossians, to the epistles of the Philemon, and to the Philippians, 
Paul is writing to let them know that we are benefactors of the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In our assignment today, we have two main things we want to highlight. Unity and maturity. Mm. And I want to say that at the outset is that unity should not be hard to attain when we are followers of Christ. Amen. And yet, it is the battle that we have one against another. The sad commentary is that one will assume that if God does anything for you, that God can also do something for him or her. But I've come to let you know this morning that God is not slack in his promises made to his people. If God made a promise to you, even if somebody else gets a result first, without me that God has negated the fact the things that he has promised unto you. God controls what he promises and he controls the manifestation of the promise. But God also controls the time by which it takes for him to manifest that which he promised. For every promise that God makes, he will fulfill that promise. But God also takes you through a process. Mm. It's in the process that we learn that some people buckle under pressure because they can't handle the process. Paul, in chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, Paul breaks down many things. And I want to break down our assignment today a little chapters in verses 1 through 3 and in verses 4 through 6. Verses 1 through 3, Paul compared the Christian life to a walk, asking his readers to walk worthy of the calling to which they have been called. Paul said, therefore, I, a prisoner serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. Paul is saying, I, Paul, I'm a prisoner. I'm in shackles even as I'm writing because I'm in a decision to live for the Lord. Amen. And you understand that when you choose to live for God, that you're going to go through attacks. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bad thing is that it's one thing to be attacked by those who are enemies of God. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do when you are attacked by those who are the same family oh that you are part of? Oh Paul said, I, a prisoner, for serving the Lord, Begging to lead a life worthy of your calling. And gentlemen, everyone can call you. Oh See this way. You should answer every call. Right. Let me say it that way. Because God is worthy to call because God deserves our loyalty. Yeah. Paul says, walk worthy of the calling to which you have been called by God. Now. There are people who are walking out proclaiming to be called, but they weren't called by God. Some phone calls you shouldn't take, or you get it later. There's sometimes when they go to voicemail, that ain't God calling. The Paul said you are one worthy of the calling for which God has called you. And you do realize that God calls you knowing everything about you. Every flaw and failure, every mistake you've made, every mess, every dark, every darkness, every dire, every depression, every bad thing God knows, and yet he still calls oh my. Yeah. you. Yeah. He calls you to be know if I can use you, the messed up one. Yeah. I can clean up you, the messed up one. If I can situate you, the messed up one. Those who are still messed up will see hope because if God can use her, yeah. I know God is able. Yeah. This is why... This is why we as people of God must not judge those who are still battling between world and word. Yeah. Because it was a day when you were battling between world and word, truth be told, some of you still battling. Yeah, yeah. yeah this coronavirus hit. Some of you have been more out than you've been in. Oh my. You ain't logging on like you used to log on. You ain't giving like you used to give. You, you, you're playing around. We know when you get on. Oh and when you get off. We know that you ain't getting on, but you're trying to convince yourself that you're still in there. But you're leaning one way too long. Oh, yes. And Paul said, well, worthy yeah. of the calling okay. you have been called. Yes, sir. God makes, I hear you, Holy Ghost, God makes no mistakes mm -hmm. when he calls. Yeah. I'm standing here because God makes no mistakes when he calls. You, you can hold your whole list of things why God shouldn't use you. And God said, I know anything about that, but I still want to use you. Moses said, Lord, I stutter when I talk, and God said, I'm still going to use you. Yeah. Because I can make a stutter talk plain. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. You think that if the world said you couldn't be used, the reason why you can't be used by the world is God wants to use you yeah. for his birth. The very thing that the world said God couldn't use, Come on. God will use will. that thing. A calling comes. From someone who has the right to claim loyalty. God is the one doing the calling. But in Paul, 
Paul defined this walk in terms of attitudes and actions. Yeah. Attitudes and actions by laying out four virtues. Verse 2, Paul said, always, first attribute, always be humble. Mm -hmm. Now, as a follower of Christ, it should hard, be hard for us to be humble, and yet we're supposed to be most arrogant people. Oh my. Right now. Come on. Ever want to meet? Mm. Nose tooted up? You float on clouds when you walk. Your language is plain. Your tongues are many. Oh my. And yet, you're not being used because the first thing is that your action ought to be you know, He said, always be humble. It's easy to be humble when you realize I ain't going to choose it. No, that's bad either, but it felt good to say it just that way. Always be humble. Listen, if you are made humble, God can lift you. Yes, if you lift yourself, God will. Yes, He'll humble you. Humble yourself, the Bible says, to the mighty hand of God. And he shall exalt you in due season. Yes. If, if God knows when to exalt, but God also knows when to sit down. And so much to sit ourselves down oh, my. before God does the sin. He said, always be humble. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I hear you. I hear you, Kendrick. Be humble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sit down. Yeah, y'all know that. Yeah, some of y'all, well, listen to it down in the country, but, but some of us know. Sometimes you gotta be humble and you gotta sit down. You know that you're out of control. Oh, my, my, my. You know you out of control. You, you get one thing right and all of a sudden you're gonna self proclaim yourself to be prophetic. Sit yourself down. All the way Paul says, be humble. Yes. Then, then he said, then he said, then he says, he says, and. Gentle. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 gentle is also defined greater than meekness. Now, now, gentle does not mean weak. Gentle is as if the, the taming of a wild animal. Come on. Come on. Gentle means that, that, that I have a rage in me that's under control. Oh, come on. That, 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 because the power that's on me, that power is keeping me from going off on you. Yeah. yeah, I thought about doing it, but, but something's holding me. I'm tamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm about. Be, be gentle. If, if, if you could go off, yeah. but you make it worse. But, but when you submit yourself under a greater power that, that, that tames you, mm -hmm. always be humble and, and, and gentle. Then he says, and be patient. Patience is hard. Patience also means long suffering. And as Christians, we ought to be patient with each other. There are some who are still trying to get to the finish line. Yeah. Now, now, patience is not. It's not just one time only. Patience is when you maintain that level until the completion of the storm. Mm. Here's where saints get messed up. Because, you know, we good on Sundays. Oh, yeah. yeah, we leave church feeling good, get something to eat, and we go to the hospital and we visit the sick. Uh, um, but don't be there next Sunday. Because we don't, we, don't do, we don't come see you two Sundays in a row. No, now, 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 the oil only lasted that one Sunday. Oh, my. Uh, we come on Wednesday. Uh, we'll come on Sunday. You know why we we'll come on Sunday? Because parking is free on Sunday. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll come see you on Sunday because we we we, we fresh out of the worship service. So yeah. we'll come that one time. But but, but patience is is when, when I endure with you. Yeah. When I endure with you, and like when you pray, Lord, give me patience. Oh, God answers prayers opposite of what you ask for. You ask for patience and God to do a storm. Oh my. Um, um, you ask God to give, that's what you give first. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy. And, and, so, and so he said, he said, be patient with each other. Now here's where unity comes in that. Because the saints will remember that patience is not about you yourself, it's about be patient with the one next to you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every soul is not talking about you. Sometimes your neighbor needs you to pray for them. Right. He said, he said, he said, always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other. Look at this now. Making allowance for each other's fault because of fourth one, your love. Now, now, now here's now is that love is accepting and overlooking another one's weakness. It is I love you in spite of, not because of. Yeah, I, I know you're flawed, but I love you. I know you're saying, but I love you. And here's what I can do because Christ yeah. loved me in a manner that I'm not worthy of what I have, but it's love. Yeah. It's so genuine. Do you realize that the reason why 
why you're here today is not because of your alarm clock, but because of love. Yes. Yes. It touched you. My Lord said he, he kissed you with a, with, a, with a kiss of love. Yeah. He touched you with a yes. finger of love. But Grandma taught us people on morning now that, 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 that your ears had to be open to hear an alarm clock yes. yeah. yeah. Your feet had to have to get out the bed, turn off the alarm clock. Yes, sir. Your mind had to be simple enough to understand if the alarm clock that's going off. When you heard the noise, your mind said, alarm clock. Somebody yeah. controls mm -hmm. that Paul said. Always be humble yeah. and gentle yeah. and patient yeah. with each other, making allowance for each other's fault because of your love. The question you must ask is, have we as followers of Christ stopped loving each other? We bring so much world into the worship. That's it. That's into it. our worship sound like the world. That's it. Amen. People in the world coming in because they're going through so much and they come in and say, this sounds like mm -hmm. what I just came out of. Mm -hmm. Because we haven't committed ourselves. Now listen now, you can be in word and still be effective in the world. Yeah. 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 See, 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 you can say it in the world when you got word in you. But stop lying to yourself that, you, that you're that you trying to impact the world and you got no word. Oh my. God brings you in, cleans you up, fills you up, and he sends you back out. You are not coming in every Sunday on full. You are coming in empty, get filled up in worship, to go back out and get back out. It's a sad thing to be full every Sunday. I mean, you ain't working throughout the week. How is it that for every store, it's also a liquor store. Mm. Every liquor store, you see a church. But you, you're not seeing a shortage of liquor stores or churches. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the crowd ain't that church. The liquor store. Yeah. They don't mind you going in. Because they don't really do when you come out, you ain't changed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Paul says we got to be united. And it, it's, it's easy to be united when we keep Christ the focal point. Verses 4 through 6 shift from unity to maturity. Mm. In this section, Paul focused on the great spiritual realities that unite all Christians and provide a checklist of the unifying factors. Paul says in verse number 4 that we are one body. Lord have mercy. Mm. We, are, we are one body. Yeah. That, that means that whether you are the hangnail or the nail on the toe, you were part of the body. Yeah. And have you ever been there where 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 you run into the house and you oh stub your toe? Oh yeah. And your little bitty toe that got stubbed affected your whole body. Yeah. Because the pain came all the way through. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna let you know that toe, yes, all not considered to be important, but when you hit it, everything else is affected by it. Yeah. We're gonna grow one body. Oh, if there's one part of the body oh, that's hurting, the whole body ought to be yeah. affected. We are one body, Paul said. There is one body, mm -hmm. but also there is there's one spirit. Yeah. It's a capital S, y'all now. I mean there's one Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. there are many other small spirit, there's only one. Holy Spirit. Yeah. And, and the Holy Spirit contains everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Paul says there is one body and there is one spirit. And I want you to understand this now. The, 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 Lord, the Lord said that I'm going to leave you a comforter. Mm -hmm. a, a comforter. That, that, that means that he speaks to you when you're lonely yeah. and convicts you when you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He'll console you when you're hurting and chastise you when you mess up. You mess up. Yeah, yeah, he'll worship with you yeah. and he corrects you at the yeah. same time. Yeah. He, it's one spirit. He, 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 he will drive you to work and, then, and tell you, stop gossiping at the job. Yeah. There, there was one spirit where, where, where you want to say he grabs you. Don't about saying he grabs you. Yeah. Open your mouth when he shut it. Yeah. And there was one spirit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Spirit yeah. is not an itch, no. not a fiend, mm -hmm. but he's part of the triune Godhead. Yeah. The Holy, the Holy Spirit is as important yes, yes. in it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paul said that we are one body and one spirit. He says you have been called to one glory is over. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the word one is important, audience, because he, there's not duality, mm -hmm. it's singularity. Mm -hmm. 
There is no competition here because of a what? That, that, that means that, 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 that when they say your name and my name in worship, it all equates to one. Yeah. That means that we should not be competing over microphones because if the Lord wants one sign, yeah. not me. He wants an audience of one. Yeah. Oh, come on now. He, he, is, he is God by himself. Yeah. So all of our shadows ought to equate to one. Yeah. We are one body and one spirit that will be called one glorious hope for the future. Yeah, I love when y'all get up. Yeah, yeah, we can sing together. That's all at the end now. Yeah, we're one body, we're one spirit, and we're one hope. Here's what I got excited. Verse number five said, and there is one more. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lot clear now. Stop trying to create more. Only one way to heaven after that one, yeah. one more. He is Lord of Lord. Yeah. It's a capital L right there. Yeah. And you got to come through him yeah. to get there. That means when you pray, not when, but when you pray, you are praying in the name of the Lord, Jesus. There is one Lord. There is one faith. There, there is one faith. I only know one. That's the faith I have in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is one Lord, there is one faith, and there is one baptism. Now, 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 listen, listen, now. there are arguments about how you baptize. There are no arguments about baptism. See, the apostolic believe you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, or it's not baptism. See, see, the, the AME believe is sprinkling when you're younger. Right, right? The Bible believe you're baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But now, I believe in following what Christ said. Yeah. Christ said in Matthew 28, go ye yeah. therefore, yeah. make all disciples, and baptize them in the, the Father, yeah. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be yeah. baptized after his example. Nobody else.
Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. 